Hello, everyone. My name is Caleb Suttles, and I shouldn't be here right now. In fact, I should have nothing to say to any of you. I should probably be in statistics on my way to pursuing a business degree, because that's exactly what I feared I would be doing right now just a few years ago. And that's what I would be doing, but something went terribly wrong. When I was told as a child that I could do anything I sat my mind to, I believed it. And trust me, that is not how this is supposed to happen. Um, and no one had any trouble telling me that. Like, I was told that being an artist, being a filmmaker was unrealistic. It was dreaming. And all the adults I knew as a teenager started to tell me about the real world. They told me that they knew exactly where I should go to college, what I should major in, and what my career interests should be. And they told me about their lives and that they had given up their dreams and settled for their current realities. And though they expressed regret about that, they also felt that that was the way life had to be and that I was probably destined for that. So um, at the age of 15, uh, instead of shielding myself from those stories, I began to search for more because I realized that if I could learn where others had gone wrong, that I might be able to avoid the same mistakes in my life. And so I became intent on discovering a life free of regret, and I began my search for meaning. I began traveling the upstate two years later, um, interviewing over 50 adults, many in retirement communities, about their regrets. Um, the collection of those filmed interviews that I uh, worked on between August of 2010 and August 2011 became my first film of feature length, Predu, Foresight in 2020. Um, what I discovered in the film was that, uh, was that uh, we can avoid regret. And so, um, so I never could have imagined that just after completing my film that I would be employing its lessons so soon. Because just a few weeks after finishing, I was moving into college. And unfortunately for me, I had applied to university before much of my work on the film. And so my decision wasn't yet informed and um, I had chosen sort of the expected route. I was an artist entering an engineering and agriculture university. So yeah, so it wasn't long before I figured out that I had no hope of fitting in. Um, like I didn't quite uh, match up with the expectations that everyone had for me. I dressed differently than everyone else. I had no interest in video games and I turned down parties in favor of editing short film projects. But more than that, I was disheartened by my descent from exploring life's biggest questions and pursuing ever-deepening self-awareness to attending meetings about toilet paper overconsumption. And, um, and while I had discovered just what I wanted in life, I felt ridiculous for outing myself as an aspiring filmmaker and advising meetings. And so, um, yeah, so then uh, I moved on and, uh, and I realized that uh, I'm sorry, um, I, I'm sorry. Um, so uh, after that, um, uh, you know, I didn't quite realize yet that I had entered a test of my integrity, a test of how much pre -do had really taught me. And so one of my classes would soon help me remember. One of my professors was kind enough to inform the other students of the class what I had learned months before. Through so many of the interviews I had had, I realized that uh, the individuals often shared similar stories. They, were, uh, they had sacrificed their dreams to um, the expectations of others, and they were survivors of circumstance. And in much the same way, realizing that reality of life, the professor would often explain the nature of our dog-eat-dog -dog world, that for us, the careers available might be boring, but we'd have to learn to grit and bear it. And that would be okay, because we would make a lot of money, so it wouldn't really matter. And, um, and so that's what I had experienced through the interviews. And so um, uh, it wasn't long before I found myself in my university's counseling and psychological services clinic discussing my, yeah, <laughs> discussing my fears with the therapist. Um, for me, it was a really dark moment. Um, and um, I would sit there crying, like reliving the insecurities of my childhood and, and adolescence and questioning how I could still be in the same position um, after everything I had learned through the film. And there I achieved like the same advice I had always received before, that, um, that you're just young, you have your whole life ahead of you. And unfortunately, they didn't realize that through pre -do, I had my whole life behind me because then I remembered Charlotte Butcher had heard similar advice. She was a lady I was fortunate enough to interview and 
Um, growing up, she was driven. She wanted to be a fashion designer, but unfortunately her parents were less enthused about that than she was. Um, they encouraged her to take a more traditional route. And so uh, she ended up not pursuing fashion and becoming distracted by her social life. And she actually ended up marrying. And strangely enough, the man that she married became a dentist, despite the fact that she had a fear of dentists. Um, yeah, and, um, and so uh, I remembered her story, and she had taken the path of least resistance. And in much the same way, I felt that just a few months ago, it was over for me. I had no hope of still fulfilling my dreams. And I wasn't being overdramatic because that class, albeit with great intention, was beginning to train um, the students of my class that uh, and we would live in a future that our hands would be valued over our hearts that uh, we might have to settle. And uh, that's exactly what I had seen in so many of the interviews. And so, um, you know, nothing would have been easier in that moment for me to give in, to declare a major and to um, assimilate into a culture of my peers and to, uh, to give behind, leave behind filmmaking in honor of more realistic pursuits. But Predu had created an inner fortitude that I was unable to escape because through those interviews, I realized that uh, we, can, we shouldn't give in, that we should keep going. And no one, and, and what I learned was that so many of our obstacles don't follow us all the way to the nursing home. Our opposers, our family, our friends, our cultural standards all pass away before we do. And so um, Mr. Stanley was a man that exemplified that lesson. And growing up, he wanted to be an interior decorator. But um, unfortunately, his parents um, told him that that ambition was a little too feminine and he was going to have to choose something else. And so uh, he did, and he followed in the footsteps of his grandfather, who was an English teacher. And so his decision was one of self-sacrifice. And though he, uh, his attempt was to make his family more comfortable. And he did that. But unfortunately, today in his 80s, he still regrets that moment. But not everyone in my film had given up. Some put themselves first and continued to fight despite their setbacks and obligations. Like Sandra, who, after years of being employed as a nurse, um, realized that she preferred law. So she returned to school and studied to become a lawyer and became one. Heather, who, after years of setbacks and working hectic schedules in the restaurant industry, continued to fight for her dream of becoming an actress and uh, Rebecca, who, uh, after failing to rebound after a failed marriage at 19, today is recreating herself at 41. She's returning to school to study psychology. So um, in closing, the truth is that with or without my work on the film, I would have learned the same lessons either way. I would simply have delayed those lessons for many decades. You know, um, nothing would have been easier than for me to give in. And, and uh, today my life would probably be a lot easier. Um, if I wouldn't have done the film, I'd probably have a much better grade in Spanish. Yeah, and, um, and, and but unfortunately, um, you know, uh, I would have missed out on so many of the things that have come to make my life meaningful. You know, working on creative short film projects and initiating work on my second film of feature length. And, um, launching my own video productions business and applying to art schools for transfer. Predu worked just as planned because through learning about the obstacles that others faced in their lives, I was transformed as I met similar challenges. So I hope this morning I've encouraged you to relentlessly pursue your desires and to realize that while you cannot redo your life, you can pre-do it. Thank you. <laughs>